Well, I just came back to the Netherlands from Cambodia and there's already new stuff waiting for me at home. Because these automeras mostly started hatching just before I arrived. So here, me being the first days back in my country, I can already make a nice moth video. Some of them have already hatched and perished, but I see they've also left some eggs. Um, this is one of my favorite species, so I'm really hoping they paired and um, made fertile eggs while I'm gone. Guess we'll find that out later. But uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite Altamira species. They're really big, really huge with nice reddish hind wings. Subtle uh, colors, but the most spectacular thing about them, in my opinion, are the caterpillars, not the adults. They are like neon green with bright red spines. I have a nice toxic sting and become very big. So I'm gonna enjoy it if they are fertile and I can immediately start breeding some. Um, the micro pile of the eggs is supposed to turn black if they're fertile. And right now the micro pile seems yellow. But this can take a few days to happen. If these eggs are very fresh, then you won't see this yet. So I guess we'll have to wait few days uh, to find out if they're fertile or not but knowing my luck they could be although I wasn't there to pair them my parents were taking care of them so my parents aren't exactly the best breeders in the world although they didn't know to how to keep the basic stuff alive for me guess we're gonna find out man really praying that these are fertile beautiful moths from uh, Central America, I think they're found in uh, Mexico and even more south, I think even Costa Rica, although some people call this species in Costa Rica Automeris Dagmarai, but that's a bullshit Brechlin and Meister species probably because they describe a lot of nonsense. But uh, let's find out.